Hi everyone! Welcome to Lisa's Painting Parties. I'm Lisa, and I have a special guest with me tonight. Hi, I have her son! I have my son Jack is here with me. So he will be joining us for the paint party today. Um, he'll be painting along our beautiful image with us today. Um, so, um, welcome to anyone who hasn't joined yet. Um, starting a little bit early, it's about 10 minutes to 6, so uh, we'll get started at 6. So anyone who wants to um, paint along, uh, you'll need a few supplies, so I'll run through that as well. And I'll run through about how this will work. Um, anyone who wants to paint but can't join in right away, not to worry. You'll be able to watch this uh, video on Facebook under the Videos tab anytime you like. And I'll also cross post this to YouTube in case you prefer to watch it on YouTube under Lisa's Painting Parties. So um, you have many options to paint along. If now it doesn't work for you, it's totally fine. All right, so for this week, um, we had three really beautiful uh, photo options from Mike Lyons. Um, and the one that won was called Calm Waters. And it was this photo here. Um, it's, honestly, it's not doing it justice at all. Um, on here, you're really kind of only seeing a lot of the blue tones. But if you go to the post from yesterday announcing the winner, then you can see um, I posted the photo there. So I would suggest um, grabbing that photo if you're going to be painting along and using that as a reference. So just uh, do like a screenshot or just have that available or up on your screen for reference as we paint. Because there's some really pretty colors going on that um, it's, I don't think it's, it's showing it as well in this moment here. However, I will have this on the side and it will be here as a reference as we paint and I'll walk you through the process of how we're going to go about recreating it. So again, a few disclaimers. So when we go about recreating something, um, it's about capturing the feeling and the vibe of it. So I want you to really feel that you can do whatever you so like with it. So you can change it up entirely if you want. If you just want to paint along and do your own complete different painting, you're more than welcome to. Um, I'll walk you through step by step how to recreate and get the same type of vibe here. So we have a really lovely um, a lovely sky with like, some nice like pinks and some little bit of oranges as well. Um, and the clouds are really, you can tell that they're um, more solid and, and there's just a little bit going on on that side. And it's a nice, almost like a reflection in the water. The water has some really nice movement in it. So we'll talk about how to recreate that too. Um, and then there's like a little boat actually in the background. So again, we can play with that a bit and see how we want to make that pop. Um, so yeah, we'll talk about that in a little bit and we'll go from there. So um, in terms of what you will need to paint along, so this is completely free. So um, if there's any random links that pop up, sometimes um, it will be like click here for the party or something. Don't click there like you're, you're where you need to be. Um, so this is the party itself. So we'll start in momentarily. What you will need to paint along, you'll need um, a canvas. So I use an 11 by 14 canvas board. Um, but if you have a regular canvas or be a different size, that's totally fine. It will just change up a little bit in terms of how long it takes you to paint and, and whatever else. The smaller the board, you'll be done a lot faster than I will. Um, the larger one, vice versa. Um, in terms of the paint, if you have your basic colors, if your primary colors, your red, your blue, your yellow, and your white and your black, then you are good to go and we can make any colors with this. Um, however, if you have some premixed colors as well, of course, that always is nice too and that can make things a little bit easier um, when we're painting, but you can always mix the paints and I'll talk you through what you'll need to use to paint. Um, but if you have the primary and the black and the white, you're good to go. And the paint I use are all like ones from the Dollarama, so they're very like cheap <laughs> dollar store paints um, and they do a decent job. Um, besides that, we have a paint palette that you're going to just like pop your colors on and mix from there. Um, and then I suggest having at least three different sizes of paint brushes. So I usually have something nice and big. This is a number 10. Um, then I have a number, this one's a two, I think. And then this one's a fine point. Doesn't look like it right now, but it's a number four. So just something big for large coverage, a medium brush, and then a fine point. Um, usually again from Dollarama, you can get like a pack of like five or something that can, are pretty decent. I would go for something that's a bit softer. Some of the brushes can get a really like rough. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't go for that too much. I usually go for the softer ones. Um, so there we go. So that's what I have. And then of course we have water containers and we have paper towel. So that's the supply list right there. It's also listed, um, in the comments or the notes right there as well. Hi Trish. Nice to see you. 
well, not really see you, but thanks for joining. <laughs> so yeah, so if anyone's uh, jumping in, feel free to say hi. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Um, I'm here in Ontario, Canada. I'm in Ajax, just outside of Toronto. Um, it was a beautiful day today. A little chilly, but the sun was so gorgeous. So hopefully everyone's having nice weather wherever you are and you're ready to have a nice paint session. Um, and if you're just tuning in, my son Jack is just um, outside of the camera frame. He's joining in, so you might hear him a few times asking some questions, and then he'll be joining us for tonight's session. Hi. So he's poking in on the side there. There's Jack. All right. <laughs> All right, cool. So we've got four minutes until we'll see we start. So if you want to grab your stuff, you're going to be joining. And make sure you also grab something to drink or something, too. Right now, I'm already getting parched, so that's going to happen. Perfecto. And um, if uh, you're enjoying these paint parties and you'd like to show some gratitude, feel free to um, leave me a tip. It's at Buy Me A Coffee. The link's right there um, in the pinned comment. So if you'd like to, you can feel free. You don't have to. Um, I'm also going to be launching my website soon. So you'll be able to um, reach out to me if you have any desire to have like your own virtual party with a bunch of your friends or if you're in the greater toronto area and you want to do an in-person one um you can also reach out to me about that so all the pricing and stuff will be available on that um shortly so i'll be doing a launch on that soon um so yeah pretty exciting all right cool so again we'll um give a bit more time in case anyone else is going to join and then i'll move the camera angle as well so then you'll be able to see my um canvas and you'll be able to see my reference image as we go Again, I would suggest you um, grabbing the reference image from yesterday's post because the colors look so much nicer on that one than what you're gonna see here. Um, oh, fantastic, Antoinette, that's great. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of fun when there's a bunch of people. Um, I've been doing a few virtual parties and they can still, they're still quite fun. Obviously in person is always um, more enjoyable. Um, on Zoom, you know, people can like talk over each other and it gets a little bit hectic sometimes, but um, there's still some really great moments and memories to be had. So if uh, anyone's interested, definitely let me know because I love people, I love to host, and I love to talk about painting. Yeah. All right. So perfect. So um, we're going to get started soon on this beautiful photo. We're going to recreate this. And so a few of the main components are, um, or I'm going to always start with whatever is furthest in the back. So what I want to start doing mentally is start deciding where my sky is and where my water is. So I want to decide like, so it's about halfway more or less. I think the water's a little bit higher. So just like visually, I want to start plotting out where I want my elements on the actual canvas. So the sky is a nice big portion, but it's actually probably is almost half of it, to be honest. Yeah, maybe about half of it um, will be the sky. So we're going to do the back. Yes. Should I put my colors on the should I put my paint on the paint palette now? If you want to, you can. I would Absolutely. Like to do that. So yeah, so if you want to put your paint, you can. So when you put your paint on the palette, I would just uh, recommend, since it is acrylic and it's water-based, um, it will dry very quickly. So you don't want to put a lot of paint right off the hop, um, and you only want to put the colors that you're going to use right now, is what I would suggest, and then add them on as you need. So if you have blue, I would suggest putting some blue out, and I would also suggest getting some white. And then I want to get some nice colors going on to maybe a little bit, maybe like a little dollop of red and a little dollop of yellow would be kind of good too. Okay, so let's move this over and down. now you can kind of see the reference image and my canvas a lot better yeah it's the writer okay we'll keep it like that okay cool perfecto i also have the image on my phone too because it's uh my phone's a little bit crisper okay so the blue i have from the adorama is peacock blue this is the one that I'll be trying out today. It's a nice bright blue. I am going to put, in terms of the blue, I am putting a lot more on my palette because we are using quite a bit. So there's the blue, a dab of Rooney of that. I'm going to get some of my white paint. The white is just called white. <laughs> no fancy name for the white paint. 
Okay. It doesn't deserve a fancy name. Nope. Just plain old white. I'm going to get a little bit of yellow and a little bit of red. And then I'll show you the amounts once I can eventually open up my red paint. There we go. So just like little, little bits of the red and the yellow, quite a bit of white and quite a bit of blue to start. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start, um, again, putting in that sky. So a few things with this. So I want to make sure there's a nice blend of the blues. Um, so I'm going to paint quickly um, and I'm going to um, use water first to start off. So I'm going to get a little bit of water on my big brush. Okay. And then I'm going to just wet the canvas down with that water. So just put water on the canvas and this will allow when we start to paint for us to get the paint to blend very nicely and get a lot of coverage quickly. However, you won't get very thick paint when you do this. This is more to just get a quick amount on the canvas and to get a good blend in. And it also allows you to keep the paint wet for longer. It will dry pretty quickly. If you're using a canvas board like I am, it doesn't soak in that well. So you want to just dab the excess of the water with your paper towel. Because we don't want it to be like dripping in water. If we put too much water, it will just become a big mess. So we just want to dab it a little bit just to make sure it's just slightly damp. If you're using an actual canvas, like a uh, stretched canvas, it soaks it in pretty nicely. Okay, how's yours going, Jack? Well, I just finished putting all the paint on my canvas. The and water on there? Yeah, I put all the water and okay, all the perfect. paint on the canvas. I'm just looking if you put black on your canvas. No, I have not put any black on my palette yet, no. Okay, and I definitely should have used more blue and black and white. That's okay, you can always add a little bit more if you need to. All right, so yeah. using my big brush, I'm going to start with my blue. And all I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to get some strokes on here with the blue. Okay. And because it's wet, it's going to spread pretty easily, but it's still pretty messy, right? So I don't want to keep it like that. So now when I have my blue there, I'm going to grab my white paint and I'm going to start getting a nice blend on with the white. The white is going to be the tool I use to blend in this blue paint on my canvas. And essentially, I'm going to use that white paint to cover the entire part of where my sky is going to live. So initially, that blue I put on was kind of random, but this white is going to smooth everything up. So we're using quite a bit of white, and we're going back quite frequently to put more white paint on your brush. Oh geez, yeah, the white looks good. Okay, yeah, crazy. see definitely. Wherever, but. Yeah, try and get it like on all the spots. Go slow. Like you wanna go, you wanna paint quickly, but you wanna get good coverage. So make sure you're looking at where you're painting, Jack, and then just uh, get the areas that don't have any paint and put some white paint in there and then blend it into the other colors, the other colors, the blue. We don't have any other colors yet. Okay, so now we have a nice big blue sky, fun blue sky. Now I want the blue to be more consistent yeah. and darker on the top. So I'm just going to add a bit more blue at the top because I want it to be more of a gradient. I'm putting another layer of blue. My blue kind of looks bad. Okay, yeah, go for it. So I want to start it a little darker on the top there. Okay, now. Oh, 
That looks good. <laughs> okay, so now what I want to do, is I want to add in a little bit of that purpley pinkish mm -hmm. kind of sky happening. So this is going to be a little tricky, potentially. I don't want it to become crazy red, but I do want to get a little, 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 little bit of red on my brush. Okay. And then I'm just going to put a bit in just above where I want my horizon to be. Like that. Just to give you like a nice, almost like shadow of like where that sunset kind of happened a few minutes ago. We just missed the sunset, but we still have that like pinkish hue in the sky. I don't know if you can see that all right. I'll give it a little bit more, I think. Just a little bit more here. Get a little, little bit more red. Okay, pretty, pretty. Yes, nice. And then it gets darker closer to the baseline here. And I would say that's like a big, like, kind of cloud cover that's happening. So I'm going to put a little bit more blue on my brush. And it's kind of a purplish, I would say. I'm going to start with the blue. Just get it darker. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit of red into here. Just to get it into like more purple, like a dark, a darker purple color happening to capture that kind of cloud color. And it's about halfway on there. So it's very pretty and light and I can see the colors that well. It's not really showing up very good on my camera, I don't think. But there's like a nice like pink hue in there and then some of the darker happening. I want to get it a little bit more prominent. That pink brighter. It's a little bit more red. And then as I do it, it's still pretty wet, so it makes it easy to blend. It's getting kind of like tacky, like the paint's kind of sticky at this point. So it's still good to blend, but then it, it's becomes a little trickier as we go. Okay, so I'm just going to clean off my brush a bit there. All right, I want to fix up my sky a little bit. I'm going to put in a little bit of more white in some spots. And I use a water sometimes if I want to soften what's happening on the palette, like if it dries off a bit. But just be very cautious when you use water because it might make your paint too thin and then it doesn't look that great. Yeah, mine doesn't really look very good. It's okay though. I'm having fun. It's okay if you're having fun. That's good. Very nice. Very nice. I think that brush is a little hard when you're using. Oh. Is there a softer brush? That's well, there or not really? Are, yeah, there's, well, I have this. Mm, maybe. I have this. No, that's too small. That's okay. You can keep using that this? one. That's all right. No, no, it's okay. Don't worry. I was wondering if there's something else in that pile. Okay. So what I want to do before we move away from the sky is I'm going to go to my, maybe my medium brush. I think I'll start with that, but I might go into my smaller brush. So let's get your medium brush. Medium or fine. I guess it doesn't really matter, whichever you prefer. And then I want to put in some of the clouds. So the clouds are similar in color to what color we have, but just a little bit darker. So we're going to use a bit of the, just the straight up blue. And then we're going to just put in a little bit of these little formations happening. So I'm going to start over here. I'm just going to put in a little bit of 
lines in the sky. And I'm make, trying to make it a little wispy. So I'm using the side of my brush and I'm just like lightly putting like little dashes. I'm just making them a little messy. I'm just going to put on my two little lines and sometimes they travel further on our canvas. Just a little bit. And as I'm doing it, it's like some of the paint is still a little wet, so it kind of blends in nicely. And the blue kind of dissipates into the background. So that's kind of cool. Some more kind of coming this way. Oh, barking dog is not the same as some of my other uh, bird sounds that we were here sometimes, eh? It's a little bit more intense. Okay. A lot more intense. Yeah, it's not very relaxing, I gotta say. I have my window open today. I was like, oh, maybe it'll be kind of nice. We'll get some, like, cool vibes happening. Yeah, we're just <laughs> barking. <laughs> we got some dogs barking, yeah. Not not so fun. Alright, so I'm going to put in some more. There's a lot of these lines happening on this side of my canvas. <gasps> There we go again. Oh my goodness. Maybe I gotta try and close that window <laughs> eventually. Okay. I'm just sticking with the same blue for now and then we might want to go in and put in maybe make it a little bit more like a, a purplish color and we put some in but for now I'm just going to keep it with this. It's doing what I want it to do. Yeah, um... How's yours going, Jack? I, I don't like the look of mine. You can change it up. If you don't want to put the clouds or if it's not working, like, you can always wait till it dries and you can try it, like, paint it out again if you want. No, no. It, or you can change it up, you know? It's fine. I just think painting's not really for me. Well, it takes time to practice, and a lot of times we make lots of mistakes before we get it, right? So it's okay. If you're having fun, then I hope you're having fun. If you're not, then that kind of sucks, you know? Yeah, I'm not really having much fun. Are you? Yeah, I'm not having much fun. Like, I'm sorry to hear that. I love the painting party that I love that you're having fun, but I just... It's not your stuff, eh? Yeah, and like, like, I'm, I, like it just doesn't look very good. I get it. It's all good, my love. Yeah. I want to show my camera my picture. Sure. It's a little tricky because the camera is not in the same. Are you not going to do any more than that, though? You guys are going to stop right there? Yeah. yeah. So this is Jack's painting so far. I think he's doing a pretty good job so far. There we go. It's definitely tricky. You have some nice blending happening. I think these lines are, the blue lines are a little thick. Because see, these ones are a little bit thinner. I know. But, yeah, it's all good. Why don't you stick through? You can try some more. Try and do some of the water if you want. You don't have to. It's up to you. Eh, I'll work on it. If you want to just hang out, you can just hang out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to hang out. That works. Or maybe just paint something completely different. Go for it. Paint something completely different. It's all good. Okay, I think I'm going to go a gonna little rogue and then... something completely different on the back side. No, 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 not on the back side. is in um, a canvas fill up. Oh. I'm going to get that cloud formation in here, so I'm going to just pop, make this a little bit darker. So you might have to just paint on the Oh, front. yeah, I want to make some of these colors. Yeah, if you want to just play, yes, you can play with the too. colors. That's good. No worries. Yeah, we'll play around with pink colors and some colors. 
All right, but you can't be talking throughout it, okay, my love? Okay. We're talking about it here. Right. Is this more green or is this green? Okay. So I think that kind of gives more of that cloud vibe happening, which is good, like the darker one. So that's a bit better. Um, and then I want to come into the actual the water that's living down here. There's some cool other elements. Like I'm noticing, like at the horizon, it's slightly lighter, and then there's like a dark line that separates like the water from the sky. So I'm gonna put that in, but I'm not gonna put that in just yet. Um, yeah, no, I'm not doing that just yet. Okay. Just got some cloudy things happening. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my bigger brush. And now I'm going to put water, just actual water, um, along the bottom part so we can get the act, the water of this to be done. So. And just put a nice coat of water. Okay, and if you're using like a regular stretched canvas, it should be good to go. If you're using a canvas board like I am, then you'll need to just dab it a bit because it doesn't soak in the same way. Okay, and similarly, we're going to put in, let's get our water going. Okay, so let's go with our blue. And similar with what we did with the sky, I'm just going to put in like strips of this blue in here. And I'm going to use white and I'm going to start blending this out. Quick start and we'll put in some of the waves and the other elements shortly. waves, I shouldn't say little ripples, I should say ripples, there's no waves happening. Now we have some nice, oh hi Linda, thank you, thanks Stacy. I appreciate it, okay, so, just touching up the horizon a bit, although I'm going to do a lot more to that. Okay, so now that I have coverage, so now we have where we want our water to be, we have a nice back drop for where our water is living. Now I'm going to move back into my um, medium sized brush. I'm going to put a little bit of black as well on my palette. And I do need more white because I've already used like it all up. So I'm going to get that going. Cool. So, a few things to keep in mind when we do all the ripples in the water. The closer it is 
to the bottom of the canvas, the bigger you'll notice the ripples and you'll, they're smaller the further away that you see. Cool. So that's what we're going to do. I don't know if I want to use my medium brush or my fine brush. My fine brush, yeah, maybe the fine one. We'll use the fine one. Okay, so I'm going to start with blue, the blue first. And I'm just going to start to put in, and it's not going to look very good right off the bat, so keep that in mind. We're just going to put in some little lines of where there's water and the ripples. And we're going to do quite a bit of this layering work with these lines of ripples in the water. Wow. Ah, okay. I've got to keep in mind that my thin brush doesn't hold as much paint as my other one, so I can't put a big dollop on it and expect it to not just glop all over the place. To get back, and then that just makes them a little bit smaller. And up here, they're gonna be very. Oops, that's a little too thick. But we can always fix that later. Some of these are a little too thick for my liking. We'll go back and fix that with another color and make those thinner. It's a great thing about acrylic. You can always go back and fix things up. Make things look different. Like I said, this is the first step. It looks very basic right now, and yours will look like that too. It just looks like a bunch of lines, kind of weird looking, and that's totally fine. That's the way it should look. We're just going to be layering as we keep going. I'm going to keep going with the same blue because I want to get there's a lot of detail and I want to be thinner before I go into another color. Here in the front here, we're going to have a little bit of these thinner lines. Make some nice 
thicker ones that we see along this foot. Lots and lots and lots of vines. Looks a little crazy right now. Okay, so now I want to go with my black and I want to put in a few lines as well. I want to stick to some of the areas that are already quite thick. But I still want to add in a few lines. Just doing some of these for now. And I'm going to put in a few little lines of black too. Keep it thin. I'm trying to vary my lines too. I tend to make them very similar lengths, so I'm trying to mix it up a little bit. Some smaller. And some a little bit longer. I don't want to put too much black because black is pretty powerful. Don't want to do that too much. Okay, so we have some blue, we got some black happening. So now I want to put in, maybe we'll go with white next. And then we'll go back to a lighter blue, I think. Okay, so I'm going to put some white. And then we're going to get some ripples and white. And when I'm putting these ones in, I'm going into the spaces that don't already have paint. Or you can always go in and thin out some of the other lines you're not crazy about, so.
Good job, Mom. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Still have your sponsor? My sponsor? You know, the guy that sends all the images to you? <clears throat> oh, yeah. He took a picture of that? Yeah, he's a really talented photographer. Wow. He's one of Dad's friends, too. Really? Oh, yeah. neat. His name's Michael Lyons. Cool. I've done my painting, and the gray definitely needs some time to dry. Oh, yeah? Nice. Well, give me a second. I used a lot of it. You went with gray? What did yeah. you end up doing? Sky and pavement. Oh, sky and pavement. Interesting. That's cool. I'm going to mark my words. Revenge in black. You're calling it revenge, your painting? No, I'm calling it sky in black. I'm going to just mark my lane and my age and my grade on black. Oh. But what was the whole revenge thing? I don't know. I just liked saying it. Oh. It. That was very random. Cool. So now it's getting to look more like this kind of water vibe. Now that we put the third color of these ripples in. And essentially, this is the process you'll use just to keep building and building. So you just keep kind of going with more and more colors. Light. You can even go back with some of the other colors if you wanted them to pop out again. I'm loving this spot because that's where that big green, green uh, piece of land is happening. Oh, uh, mom. Yeah, lovey. Is it okay if I leave now? Yeah, sure. Let me see. Oh, very cool. Thank you. Love you. Love you. But the camera can't see you from there, love. Oh. Bye, everyone who's watching this. Yeah, Jack's leaving. All right. Bye, Jack. Bye-bye. Please show up. Please put up my painting when you're ready. Okay, I will. All right. Okay, so I think I want to get another color happening. Now, I am kind of doing this, like, willy-nilly. Like, I'm not looking specifically to be darker in one spot than another. I'm, I'm just kind of playing with the, the vibes of this. You might want to look at it and say, okay, well, there's a lot of, um, you know, more lighter spots in one area than another. I'm not doing that. Okay, I'm just going to mix a bit of um, like another kind of blue, kind of a blue-gray shade. It's almost indiscernible in the background, but slightly.
Okay. Don't like that color I made too much. I want to go back to like a sky blue. If possible. Put a little bit more of that. going back with the original blue that I had and just going over some of the spots. Okay. Okay, I think I'm going to do that, leave that for now. And then what I want to do now is I want to put in, there's like a lighter line across the horizon and then there's like a darker line. So I'm going to put that in. Oh man, maybe this one's more fine. Okay, so I'm going to get my lighter line in first, I think. Just want to put it in. a bit of a white or line. You can't really tell it right yet. And now I'm going to go in with my darker blue. And just underneath it, I'm just going to put in a darker line. Bit of a line there that kind of separates that out a bit. Okay, cool. Happy with that. All right, next up, let's paint in our green bushy plant thing that's happening over here. Hmm, okay. So I do have some pre-mixed green. I have like a hunter green. So let me do that. Okay. Now, I think I need a medium one maybe. Maybe my fine one. I'm not sure yet. Mm. Or maybe I want to do black first. 
kind of want to build some of the darkness that's happening. So like, yeah, let's go with black. Let's do that. So this mass of land is kind of here. More or less. Okay. And then we do have a little bit of dark areas. So I'm just going to start to like pop some of them in. I'm going to build in some of my green on top of these spots. Okay. Now let's get this hunter green that will still have some of my black built into it. Some green happening. Okay, so now I want to get some yellow into that green. Okay, and I want to start putting in. Oh, no, I need you back. So I'm going to get my thinner brush now so I can add a bit more detail. Okay. So now, so we have like a branch that kind of comes up. We have some little When you have like a more fine brush, you can kind of use the tip and it kind of already has like a, like this is gonna be like a cute little like teardrop kind of shape at times. So I'm kind of leaning into that. To make it feel like a little leaves that are happening here. And this will just make it look more detailed and more realistic. What I put initially is more just to get some coloring and some texture. But this, when we put in more of these little, little specific dots. Oh, my paint's still not dry. This will look a little bit more.
side of that collar happening. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's what I want. Just put like little dotty dots, little small strokes. Just in certain spots for the yellow to kind of pop. I'm not putting it everywhere. And then I want to make kind of like another green shade. And a little bit lighter. So I'm going to mix some of my yellow and a little bit of my white. So, what I want this one. I don't know I want it there. All right. Hey, Joe, how are you today? Thanks for stopping in. All right, I'm going to do a little bit in like kind of a black too. Some little leaves, what I think. In this area, it's almost like we see a few. Okay, dokes. All right, so that is what we got. Ooh, that's got blurry, blurry. That's what we got. Cool. I know I want a bit more yellow and it's more definitely my own vibe to it. It's not the same. But I was kind of feeling it. It was, it was fun. I was having fun with it. 
more of like this weird bushy thing that's sitting there. Okay. Now there's a few other components that we need to put in here. So we need to obviously put in the reflection here in the water. So I want to throw in some yellow in this water. Just in this area where I have this mass of green and black. There we go. I'm going to get some green here, so I'm going to do the same thing, put like a few lines of green in this area. Okay, now we're going to get some black. We definitely want more black in these areas. I'm using water just to like blend this in a bit more because the black wasn't blending very nicely. So I'm just trying to do that a bit more. So I have more of like a black mass on the side here. My painting looks like a squirrel. <laughs> Oh, Joe. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> that went on a different tangent. Okay, and then there's like a log of some sort in the water here. So we're going to pop that in. So... Okay, and then we have a boat. These are the backgrounds. So, how are we going to do this? Maybe just like... Just in the background there. Okay, I want to add in a little bit more white into some of these areas. Thank you. 
All right, so my waters are definitely a bit more choppy than the calm waters we have on our inspiration photo. But I think I'm going to call this one done for now. There we go. So thank you everyone who enjoyed and painted with me this lovely evening. I hope you all had a great time. Uh, please snap a picture of your painting and share it in the comments so I can uh, check it out. It's always fun to see what everyone else has done with theirs. Mine's definitely different, but it has a neat vibe happening to it. Uh, it's a little off. I would say the land is a little bit crooked, so we'll see how that goes. But uh, anyways, I hope you all had a fantastic time and um, have a great rest of your week. On Saturday, there'll be three more options for us to choose from, for us to paint all together next week. Um, and I'll be working on some, I'm hoping to have some um, other images coming up soon. Uh, so definitely keep an eye out and um, take care. Thank you, everyone. Have a great week. Bye. Thanks for joining me.